And here's the e.l.f. product that's been breaking me out for four weeks, but I still continue to use it. And what I'm doing here is I'm coloring in my eyebrow. All these girls know this. Nobody wants to see that greasy skin under those eyebrows, girls. Hey guys, what is going on? Um, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of chicken pox on my face and it's a no-no. Um, I'm gonna show you how to remedy that. So first, you're gonna need a mirror. And what you need um, as well is <clears throat> this lotion. It's hand lotion. So it comes out of a pencil, so it's designed for your eyelid. Use this dishwashing sponge to then blend that lotion in on both eyes. You know, when you have the chicken pox and you blink a lot and you sneeze a lot, you'll notice that you have a lot of cracks and dryness in your eyes. So you want to go ahead and put hand lotion in your eyelids. You're finally going to use this random uh, vial stick. What just happened to this thing? Oh, man, I guess this is what I get for buying things at the dollar store. Put this on my eyelid. Um, what this is, this is a sealant. So what that'll allow me to do is it'll allow me to lock the moisture. We're gonna go ahead and use this uh, Nudes palette here. I'm only gonna be using one of the skin types in here because as you can see, um, I'm only one color, I'm white. You're gonna go ahead and put this primer on each eyelid. Alrighty, and then you're gonna go ahead and grab the pink because uh, w what that does is it, it, it'll hide the blood vessels in your eyelids. So what you wanna do with this is you wanna stick this as far deep into your eyelid as possible, but you wanna be careful. When you put that primer and then you put the pink on top of it, it'll create a lighter pink. I'm gonna go ahead and blow the, the sawdust off of this. And as you can see, it's a black stick, okay? What this is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to create a line over top of my eyelid. Uh, this black line looks menacing to other girls that look at your man. First, you gotta create a line above your eyelid where you really want it, and then you gotta create another line in between to kind of fill in the line from your eyelid um, to kind of look like a thick black line. The thicker the line, the more menacing you look. You wanna dry your face because at this point, you have a very sopping wet liquid on your eye that could be potentially toxic to your eyeballs. Okay, this right here, I'm gonna use this toenail clipper here. It'll curl your eyelashes in a way where they're pointing upward. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this tube here um, with a black stick with some bristles. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I, I believe it's uh, it, it works for all lash types. I'm gonna go ahead and you wanna pass over from under over and then you wanna go over under as well to kind of maximize that length. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this match cream with the blue cap. Make sure you get the one with the blue cap because it's like buying an adobo with the, with the blue cap. Everybody knows that the adobo you have to buy is with the red cap. You're just gonna dab it all over your cheeks. It's almost as if you're making tribal markings. Oh, this really, really stinks though. Uh, make sure you have an equal coverage on every single part of your face. All right, so I'm just gonna wipe the remainder of that on this dishwash sponge. Even though I use this for every single bit of makeup that touched my face already, I'm just gonna continue to infect my face. Just blend in all the tribal markings. If you have any earrings, make sure to hold it with your pinky because what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a maximum arc point. And do the same thing with the with the tribal marking on your forehead. You wanna blend it in so that it stretches and, and uses up most of the forehead. And that's it. As you can see, we did great. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab this face chapstick and with this chapstick for the face um it what it does is it creates um a moisturizer um just like i did with my eyelids i'm gonna do it for under my eyelids so that it can avoid because a lot of people see the bags in my eyes when i because i wake up at 12 every day you go ahead and use the same exact dishwashing sponge it's like uh you got to make sure that no, nobody else uses this sponge let's go ahead and continue to dab um these travel markings away so what that does is it kind of uh, gives the illusion that your face is shiny and here's the e.l.f. product that's been breaking me out for four weeks, but I still continue to use it. And what I'm doing here is I'm coloring in my eyebrow. All these girls know this. Nobody wants to see that greasy skin under those eyebrows, girls. Color it in. You want to make sure you dab in the beginning and then you rub near the end of the eyebrow. So as you can see, I'm dabbing here and then rub the rest of the eyebrow. So I'm going to go ahead and use this toenail clipper again. And I'm gonna use this, use it for my eyelashes again. I'm gonna go ahead and use this all-purpose flour. Okay, I'm gonna grab a brush, I'm gonna dab it. Cause everybody knows when you walk out in the sun, you get baked. But when you have flour on your face and you get baked, it mixes with the oils in your face, kind of creates a breaded texture on your face. And everybody knows that bread smells good. Not only seal everything in, but give you that baked face look and almost keep you like tan. It's a secret that I've been using for years and it'll bake your face when you're outside in the sun. Cause what I did was I just applied it softly. Now I'm gonna sprinkle it all over the top. We do this for our husbands and boyfriends. We sprinkle this flour all over our face on purpose so that whenever we lean our faces on their sweaters, it can get all over them. Um, other women can see that they're ha they have been claimed uh, by this uh, white flour on their face. We're finally at the final tribal mark. 
This gives you all the different colors um, that'll distinguish you from all the different tribes of America. We're gonna go ahead and draw a line under our cheekbone. It, it, it makes you look a little bit more aggressive. It makes you look a little bit more like you can knock somebody the hell out. Go under the chin. Make sure you're not just dedicating this brush to under the cheekbone. Make sure you go a little bit around the cheekbone, a little bit on the nose. Grab this wallet. When you do this, it'll solidify the markings on your face. Kind of making it tough to get off. Okay, because you want to make sure that that aggressive look stays on you for at least 48 hours. Let's go ahead and go under the eye here again. Now you're going to grab the lightest one, because what we do is we create a contrast here. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the lightest one, go over top of it, even though it doesn't make sense. I'm going to use this pencil. It's a Ticonderoga number two pencil. And what you're going to do, I know this is for paper, but you want to draw an outline of your lips. We're going to use this clear, um, it's a lipstick that I just finished buying at Dollar Tree. Grab the same palette you grabbed last time, it's the nude palette. Stick this under our eye one more time. Just shove it in your eyeball. This is what's really gonna solidify that lotion that we put earlier on it. What this is, is it's a, it's a bug spray. Makeup attracts a lot of mosquitoes. So what you wanna do, spray your face, make sure you dry it with your hand. Remember, you can't buy a real fan. And it'll reduce the risk of malaria. After spraying that on your face, you fix your hair and then you're all done. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Comment um, and let us know what your favorite part of the video was or what your favorite part of my voiceover was. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like these videos, if you like my voiceover, and if you like to see more of these kind of videos. And we will catch you later. Thanks for watching, guys.